Welcome to Unbox Burrito. I must say this is one of the best counterfeit DVD sets I have ever seen in my life. It actually took me a while to realize that this was counterfeit and I will show you the red flags that went off that led me to believe that this was counterfeit. So I received this on Amazon from not Amazon themselves but a third party seller. I went ahead and ordered directly from Shelt Factory themselves. You can even see the Shelt Factory wrapping here. A 100% legitimate version of Gravity Falls. So that I will be able to show you exactly the differences and details. So let me just open up the real one over here first. I am always going to leave the counterfeit items on the left side of the screen and the real one on the right side. Okay, first of all, just looking at the cover, honestly, it is it is like 99%. If you look very closely, you can tell something's a bit off with the clarity. You might not even be able to see it on camera, but like it is only 1% off. Even looking at the side here, it is like, it is too close. There's no way if you didn't have both side by side, you would notice. The back, however, you can start to notice some details. As I'm reading the back here, I can just tell that the words aren't that sharp and the ink isn't that dark. I'm not sure if you'll be able to actually see this on camera, but the, uh, the text side by side, you might be able to tell that the one on the right is actually a bit clearer than the one on the left. This one's the real one. And this one's the fake one. But either way, I would say the text is only about 90% there. Because even without the real one to compare side by side, I could tell that something was slightly off of the text. Especially since this barcode is like perfectly sharp. So this barcode, I guess they had like an original file. But this, they obviously had to scan or do some sort of copy. They did not print it using an original like vector file to get a very precise sharp edge and printout. Part of me started thinking that maybe it was just the manufacturer, like Shout Factory started to use cheaper materials to make more profits. So now looking at the DVDs themselves, Again, the front, since it has a very large picture, you can't really tell. However, looking at the back, if you look at the small text down here, you can tell it's not perfectly sharp. It's only like 90% there. Okay, so you can see the fake one here has a white cardboard on the inside and the real one has black cardboard on the inside and it is significantly thicker. Uh, the fake one is it's very good quality cardboard. Like I've seen legit real season sets use this thickness of cardboard. However, the original one uses an even thicker grade cardboard. Like this is a box. This isn't cardboard anymore. That's a box. So you can, you can hear that difference. Another giveaway is that the original comes with clear DVD cases and the counterfeit ones come with black. What threw me off right away was that when I opened the case, the sleeve is printed on the back. Like they went through all the trouble to make this very realistically printed where they even printed the episode list on the back, which again, you can kind of tell looks not that sharp. It honestly reminds me of like, if you ever had fake Pokemon cards back in the 90s, um, you can tell this text looks the same print as those fake Pokemon cards. Um, anything that's like picture, you can't really tell it's not that sharp, but look at the text. I was thinking, why are the episodes printed on the back of the case and the case is not transparent for you to actually see and read? It makes sense because the original one actually comes with a transparent case so you could read and see. Man, and just seeing this original one, like everything looks so much sharper. There you can see there's a slight color difference. Everything is lighter in color because obviously if you scan it, the light from the scanner is gonna brighten and decrease the contrast of uh, whatever you're scanning. So here you can see the picture is so much darker and nicer. And I don't know if you can compare the clarity of the text, but on the original one, the text is extremely clearer than the bottom one. 
again, like seeing them side by side, you can tell, yes, there definitely is a big difference. But if you didn't have the original one, like this will fool nine out of 10 people because it, it is 90% there. This is like one of the best quality counterfeits I've ever seen. If I didn't know this was counterfeit, I would totally be happy keeping this set minus the black cases. However, I also just want original um, merchandise and um, original sets. I also want to support the creators as well. So that's why I will always strive to get original stuff. Let's look at the discs. Another big giveaway. Without having the original one to compare to, you can just tell these discs look bad. I would say are only like 70% there compared to the original. I, I could tell right away, as soon as I saw these discs, I, I said to myself, man, Shout is either like really cutting back quality because they like really need to make some money or these are just good counterfeits. Being counterfeit by default means you're not good, but like this is like one of the best not good things I've seen. So hopefully now you can see the difference between the two discs holding them side by side. So the red and all the colors are a lot lighter and the red's actually a bit more orangey because it is lighter on the uh, counterfeit. And then here's the nice dark like original printed color of the disc. And honestly on the back you can't tell the difference. It's the same disc. You can really tell on the Disney logo on the counterfeit it is like really um, fuzzy. It is really blurry. The Disney logo on the original is nice and crisp. Another big giveaway was popping one of these discs into a DVD or Blu-ray player. Okay, so I'm putting the original disc, the real one, into a Blu-ray player here. Oh, what's that? The sound of quietness in and a CD properly working in a Blu-ray player. And then here's the main menu. Okay, so this is the original disc. And now here is the fake counterfeit disc. Now wait for it. Hmm. Someone's not happy. Someone's angry about this disc. And so you can see here the show's playing. All of the counterfeit discs just runs and spins weird in the machine. Like the machine wants to eat it. It does not like what it's reading. But on original disc, oh, it is smooth sailing. So definitely if you have a CD that like wants to start an earthquake inside your DVD player, double check, make sure, because you, you probably have a counterfeit one. And I am like really impressed with the effort they went to make this original. Like I don't even know how much profit these counterfeiters would make with the amount of work that they had to put in to make this counterfeit. Even the last disc, if we look at disc number three, they even counterfeited and made a copy of the advertisement paper and the little uh, two dipper note here that you'll see. So on the left side here, you can tell that it's not that clear. And on the right side here, everything is crisp. And you can even see the little like textured paper background that they printed on the original gets washed out on the scanned photocopy. Like, look at this effort that they put in. And so you can see here, it is darker on the original because the scan has made it lighter. Now this paper is not glossy. It feels like actual like paper, pr printer paper. This is very glossy, shiny paper. This one actually looks way more like an envelope. Actually, this is a legit envelope. You can actually lick this and seal it shut. So this is just a piece of paper. So let's see on the inside. This is like poster glossy paper. And this is just a regular printer paper. See you next summer. And look at that. The counterfeit one, like, they, they even give you this. They literally give you everything. And funny enough, like, I feel like the counterfeit actually uses higher quality paper than the original. They even print 2018 Disney on this paper. 
like, look at that. But yeah, you can tell that it is lighter on the left side. The right side, all the ink and printouts are darker. So this definitely is a scan. Now I'm actually going to go through a proper unboxing side by side so you can see exactly everything that comes in this set. So let's start off with the advertisement paper. Advertising uh, Gravity Falls The Lost Legends and on the back. Again, the left side is the counterfeit side and the right side is the original side. So here's the first case. Funny enough, okay, so I, I actually have not seen this entire show yet. I've just seen a few episodes and I found it funny enough. So I decided I'm, I'm gonna buy the whole series and uh, finally check it out. So this is disc three, disc two, and disc one of season one. And the counterfeit side has the exact same and you have to remove the sleeve to actually see the episode list. And so here's disc two, which is season two. Here are the episodes. Disc one of season two. Disc two of season two. And disc 3 of season 2. Here's the episodes on the back of the second sleeve. And again, the counterfeit one has the same images on the discs. And the same printout on the back all the episodes and in disc 3 which is a special features disc comes with the two dipper uh, envelope special features deleted scene shorts and promos and here's the image behind the special features disc. And again, you already saw that. Here's the uh, disc for the counterfeit one. These cases are also very cheap and flimsy. And lastly, they have the printout for the special features disc as well. But not in a clear case. Here's the entire back. If you want to read what it says. Now if you want to guarantee you get an original one. The Shout Factory website has the Blu-ray. And um, unfortunately I did not get it. But the Blu-ray comes with a special edition lithograph like picture if you order it from shout factory there so that's my video showing you the difference between a counterfeit set and the original set and how good quality counterfeits have become nowadays i decided to bite the bullet and order an original one uh, just to make sure and I am definitely correct with assuming this was counterfeit. I'm gonna go back to Amazon and see if I can return the counterfeit one because I do not want it. The original will be going in my collection and I'm excited to finally watch this entire show. So if you like this video or you found it helpful or you wanna just talk about the show or say anything, if uh, you yourself have a counterfeit, I'm curious to know how many of these are floating around, how many people I actually have one yeah so just give me a like subscribe and comment i'd love to hear from you guys and i hope this video was helpful so thanks for watching see you next time